Hello guys, today I'm going to be testing a multifunction uh, tester. It can test inductors, capacitors, resistors, triax, diodes, and a lot of other things. So, what I got in the package is this tester itself. This is how it looks like from the font. And it has a built in lithium. Uh, rechargeable battery and this is the port for charging and the back side nothing perhaps it's just a simple one so this is the etc1 and here are the ports uh, with the uh, pin numbers like uh, one two three one two three they all are connected uh, from inside like the number one and number one these two ports are connected inside so uh, whenever you are gonna put any device in it make sure that the that legs of that device are like uh, into the different ports so I'll be showing that to you like uh, in a while so other things that I got in the package was this uh, this thing it is some calibration tool like a capacitor and a USB cable for the charging and this thing I think this is just the connector ports if you wanna check in devices that are uh, plugged into some board and you don't wanna take them out so yeah that's it so let's get started with the first thing which is the calibration so for the calibration I'm gonna take this out. These are some three metallic pins, and these are short circuited. So to do the calibration, what we need to do is just put this pin into the three legs. Make sure it, these are the different legs. One, two, and three. Close the socket, and then hit the button and it will start self test mode it will go on for a while and will tell you that take the connectors out so this says please isolate the probe so what i will do is to take this out and the test continues And it's the end of the test so we are ready to measure different devices the first thing that I like in this tester is that it can detect what is attached onto its ports so let's start with the with the resistor the normal one I've got this resistor it's like 44.7 kilo ohm resistor just plug it in into any of these pins just make sure there are different pins so I'll plug it in here like one and two right close the port sorry close the port and like hit the start button so it says let's 4666 which is like 4.6 or 4.7 K which tells which is uh, like the told by these colors so that's pretty good let's take another resistor which I have testing yeah 47k so far good and I got an other resistor which is a little bit bigger it's bigger wattage and let's see how it measures this one you can also select the pins at the bottom like this so I'm selecting like this so it's like one and three hit the start And it tells you that it's a 100 ohm resistor, like nearly 100 or so. 
okay I've got this one more resistor which is pretty precise like a more band resistor so let's see what's that let's see how much is the resistance so one and three those are my favorite ports testing and yeah it's 2.2 kilo perfect I think that's exactly it is it's a good one so it's working very good with the resistors so let's try some capacitors let's start with this one I got this small capacitor it's like a 101 so it should be a 100 picofarad capacitor so let's connect this to pin 1 and 2 lock it and test it nope let's try it again okay 99 pf I don't know why it took so long but it's pretty much close so it's 100 pf capacitor and it's reading it as a 99 one that's good let's try this one so this says 472 which should be like 4.7 nano ferrets lock it and do it so it says like a 7302 picofarad so which is like 7.3 nano ferret pretty much accurate that's good okay let's go a bit further down i've got like uh, this small one which is 75 picofarad so even these capacitors are not that accurate like these are the cheap ones i got in them bulk so 75 is 76 that's good take this out i got a lot of them so you can see that yeah so yeah let's go further down i got a 33 pf capacitor so let's try this one Thirty-four. Well, let's get it. Let's go further down to twenty-two. Let's check, like, where does this end? Testing for twenty-two. Damaged part. Sorry. Test again. Okay. So I believe that this is the limit. Let's try another one. It's uh, 10 pf. Remember, it didn't work with the 22 pf. So, just in case, if that was really faulty piece, no. So, I think like it should be measuring the capacitances up to 30 pf, and that's it. Okay. So we are done with the capacitors, and. What's the next? I've got some transistors. So this one, uh, this one is like a two n two 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 very famous transistor and it's an NPN transistor. And let's see what this tester has to tell me about that. Just lock it and test it. Okay, so it's a PJT transistor. It tells me that where is the emitter, where is the base and collector. It is HFE, UBE, and IC collector current. So, pretty much good. So, let's reverse this transistor, like the, all the connections. So previously, the one was the emitter, pin number one now let's see now the pin number three is emitter 
so it's very handy I guess so it will straight away tell you that it's faulty or not what is the uh, HFE and where is your emitter and base and all sorts of things that's very good and I've got an other transistor it's, it's still a BJT2222 but it is in a different packaging so I'll just secure it and see what okay BJT NPN and like you see the base is like a terminal one so I even don't know like where are all these pins but right now I can tell you straight away the other thing is like this uh, diode so let's see what is this one so it even tells you this capacitance this is strange like it makes the capacitance of diodes to 10 pf but when i put the 22 pf mag capacitor it was not measuring it, it Okay, I don't know, like, let's see. So that was the diode. And finally, an inductor. I've got only this big inductor. And there's no label on it except these things. So, I have no idea, like, how much is the, how much is the inductance of this one. So, anyways, we are with the tester and, like, uh, can test it easily so I'll put it in pin 3 and pin 1 like this and test it so it says that it's a point 0.1 milli Henry I guess like it's bigger than 1 milli Henry but I don't know and it's connected to pin 1 and 3 in its resistance so that's the multifunction tester TC1 and I think it works very well for quite some range for the given price and it has this rechargeable battery and USB function and it's uh, quite easy to test. Thank you for watching guys.